Hi guys, I'm Ina Back Everson with the Red Carpet Report. Today we are at the Makeup Symposium where we are honoring the nominees of Best Hair and Makeup for the Oscars. Hi, I'm Ina, nice to meet you. Hi, Ina, nice to meet you. I'm oh. Ina, nice to meet Dennis. you. So, the guys behind the makeup of Foxcatcher. It's crazy, right? Um, yeah, a lot of talk about, <laughs> about Steve Carell's amazing transformation. Talk about it, how hard was that? Well, I use very little makeup, actually. A little bit of powder. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, it was, um, it was, it's quite a challenge. It's rare that you get an opportunity to take a, a really well-known face and, and make them completely unrecognizable. I mean, the director was very insistent that he cast Steve to perform in the movie, but he, was, he didn't want to see Steve in the movie. So, uh, and that rarely happens. I mean, usually the, the film is always like, we don't want to lose our actor. There's always got to be a bit of the actor left. They didn't want any of Steve <laughs> to appear on film. So that's, that's and to make it realistic and to, uh, for the audience to believe it and, and not take people out of the movie, is, is, it's, that's a challenge. It's yeah. quite a challenge, yeah. And this is a movie about real people. Yeah. So did you take any consideration to that, that you, they already had a face, these characters? Yeah, I mean, we did. I mean, especially with with uh, Channing and Mark, because because we wanted them to look like they grew up in that world of, of wrestling, of fighting, you know, not pretty boys. So we, we tried to change them to, to look like they had grown up in that world. Their noses had been broken, you know, they'd gotten the cauliflower ears and, and that whole thing. So, yeah, you know, there was a lot of consideration towards that. And the fact that, you know, again, you, you are doing a, a true story, and a lot of those people were around. Yeah. I mean, a lot the families were there. I mean, uh, the, the real Mark Schultz that Channing plays was there. Yeah. So you want to honor them and, and respect their their look and their their identities. And, you know, and, and the actors were so into it, and they put so much heart and soul into the performance that um, anything we did helped them get there, you know. So they were very involved in what we did and how we did it, and uh, it, was a, it was an amazing collaboration. Yeah. How many hours did you guys use on the makeup every day? Look, you try to get it as fast as possible. Uh, I think Steve, <laughs> ironically, Steve was like two and a half hours, Channing was about an hour. hour I think 15 or I think, so. I think Mark Ruffalo took the longest. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, because yeah, there's uh, there's quite a bit going on with those two guys you don't think about, um, and um, yeah, I mean it's there's one, some actors sit there and just let you do their job, and some actors you know talk and dance around the room, you know, and it makes it a little trickier. Um, but yeah, I mean it's you know it's just a couple hours in the morning, and it, and they use that time. It's important to them to to kind of get into character, and um, yeah. yeah. I have to ask you though, um, out of all the jobs you guys have done. What has been the most difficult? Definitely this one. Yeah. <laughs> um, anytime you have to do something really realistic yeah. for, for a movie this serious and for a director this demanding or demanding but insistent on perfection, you know, it's, it's really hard. And, and, um, and you know, and, and a lot of people are going to see it. So, yeah, this has definitely been one of the most challenging, for sure. Typically when you do a film, it's a moving picture. And, th and when you do a big makeup like this, they don't hold on it for very long. Yeah. Or Bennett, tight, 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 tight close-up. Yeah. Ben is the type of director that he wanted to come right in like yeah. this, and he held it. He didn't cut out of it. He'd stay there for a minute, two, you know, and you're just sitting there going, okay, okay, enough, enough, yeah. enough. No, no, I mean, None he... of us want to be looked at that long no. Yeah, no. in that close-up. <laughs> So, yeah, so to, to put your work on display for the world to see in that, in like a still image, yeah. it's, yeah. it's quite demanding. You get scared that like the nose will fall off, some airs will yeah. melt or I'm anything? I'm still scared. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the big night is on Sunday. You guys might have to go up on stage. Have you prepared a speech? I don't get to talk. Only one person gets to talk, so that's all him. Oh. I might sit there with a flip chart and say like, thank you, uh, I'd like to, no. Oh, I, I, or I could get just such cold feet, I'll just grab him and say, here you go. Um, you know what, it's, it's a daunting thing to try to think of what you might say if something like that happens. And uh, I don't know, I don't know how you can honestly really prepare, and I've been there, and I still have no idea <laughs> what to say or how to say it. It's, how about it's, just thank you? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Well, good luck, you guys, and thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to our channel, and if you like this interview, don't forget to show your love. And we want to know what's your favorite makeup of the year, so don't forget to leave me a comment.